Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can color code folders in SharePoint and OneDrive. Let me uh, show you um, kind of the user experience, what I'm talking about. It's a relatively new feature that we now have. So by default, we always, you know, when you create a new folder, all right, by default, uh, just kind of a, a regular yellow folder that you could create. Uh, but now we can change the colors, all right? And uh, let me show you how to do that. So you can, let's say you have an existing folder. You just right click, folder color, and you can do whatever you want here, all right? So just right click and change it to whatever color you want, all right? Uh, by the way, and you probably already noticed, when you create a new folder, you can also, um, you can also create it uh, with a certain color as well just like that. And essentially, these are the available colors. You just pick one, all right? Uh, now, let me show you another location where you can color code uh, folders. Uh, obviously, your OneDrive, all right? Your personal OneDrive. You can also color uh, code uh, folders. And again, right click, and uh, you set up whatever color you want uh, to set up for that particular folder, all right? Uh, a couple of other things related to this, so nice and easy. Um, couple of other items related to this. So uh, should you choose to display your folders in the tiles view, I mean, that's where the colored folders will be available as well. Uh, and uh, what else? Oh, one other thing that's really important. So in case if you decide to sync a library locally to your computer, the colors are not going to uh, propagate to your Windows Explorer, all right? So they will just appear as uh, regular yellow folders in Windows Explorer. They're not going to appear as the colored folders uh, in there, all right? Uh, colored folders is just a SharePoint thing, so you kind of have to be in SharePoint uh, to enjoy, uh, you know, the colored uh, folders, all right? Uh, but if you access, you know, remember that library I just color-coded, you know, I, uh, I access it again from OneDrive. As long as you're in the cloud, all right, uh, on the web, uh, essentially the, the colors will appear. But the minute you press that sync button uh, and the files are copied over to your computer, in your computer, uh, they will just show up as regular yellow folders, all right? And by the way, uh, the same is available in Teams, all right? So if you're in Teams, and because at the end of the day, the files are, are really reside in SharePoint, right? So if you uh, if you color code them in SharePoint, and then you access to happen to access the Microsoft Team and Teams, um, it will appear as colored uh, folders over there as well. All right, so very very important. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, pretty you know straightforward and uh, very easy functionality, but obviously gives you now the ability to. Um, to kind of uh, make SharePoint and the library a bit more attractive. One last thing I want, I forgot to mention, the colors, they're not your personal colors, all right? So if I made uh, a particular uh, a particular folder, I don't know, green or red or yellow, all right, this, uh, the colors that everyone else will get to see, all right? So, um, so they're not your personal colors, they're the colors that others will get to see, right? All right, so that's all I wanted to mention in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.